If you start your day with coffee, tea, or Diet Coke, you start your day with caffeine. Some people swear they can't start their day without it. In fact, according to research from John Hopkins Medical Center, about 90% of Americans consume caffeine daily. Caffeine is a stimulant found in beverages such as coffee, tea, soft drinks, and energy drinks, and in chocolates. Caffeine also comes in medicines, either as part of painkillers or stimulants. It is even a natural pesticide, killing insects unfortunate enough to order a grande latte. Caffeine could be considered the only legal psychoactive drug in the country, because less than a cup of coffee is enough to alter your mood. As little as 30 milligrams of caffeine, the equivalent of half a cup of coffee, is enough to make you more alert. The average American consumes nine times that, or around 280 milligrams of caffeine daily. That is almost four cups of coffee. Just 100 milligrams a day is enough to, for a person to be dependent on it. Just because it may be addictive doesn't mean it's bad. We are addicted to lots of things. Food, water, air, reality television. Some of them are necessary for life. However, as with lots of great substances, too much of it can cause harm. Caffeine has its benefits and drawbacks. Let's find out what they are. First, caffeine will make you alert. Just one cup of coffee is enough to significantly improve your alertness and attentiveness. Some studies suggest that long-term consumption of caffeine may even slow down cognitive decline. Second, caffeine may reduce the risk of stroke, lower the risk of diabetes, and decrease fat. Third, it may help endurance athletes by reducing perceived pain and by helping use fat as fuel. Finally, a low dose of caffeine with painkillers can reduce headaches. The caffeine in the medication also helps reduce the probability of getting addicted to the painkiller. Of course, caffeine isn't always kittens and roses. Sometimes it's kittens in roses. Caffeine can make you jittery. Over 400 milligrams a day or 67 cups of coffee can lead to insomnia, nervousness, irritability, stomach upset, fast heartbeat, tremors, and restlessness. One to three cups a day may increase hypertension or blood pressure. Additionally, it may inhibit insulin and increase your risk of type 2 diabetes. Didn't I just say that it improves insulin sensitivity? Oops, that may be from other ingredients found in coffee. It can disrupt your sleep, leading to a myriad of health issues. Finally, and yes shockingly, it can be addictive. Caffeine may be a wonder brew or a cursed potion. As with all substances, moderation may be the answer. So weigh the pros and cons before deciding whether to have that next cup of joe.